In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a new font into Windows 10. Now, there's a little bit of an issue with this that I've uh, recently discovered, which is that uh, the most recent update um, to Windows 10 changed the way that fonts can be installed on the system. So this machine does not have that update, but I can still show you uh, the old way and uh, the approach of the new way. Okay, so let's get started by looking at a font and we will open up the uh, file explorer and go to the folder where we have the font files. So this is a font called Bar Sophia and um, let's just turn on file extensions here. So this is a true type font, right? So uh, uh, traditionally, what you can do is, you know, say click on the first font and then shift click on the last font to select all of them. Right click and we can click on install for all users. So let's go ahead and do that. And that has installed this particular font on the system uh, for use by any user that logs in. Now, um, what I discovered after the latest update on my other machine was that the right click no longer worked and I had to go looking for another way to install fonts. So let's close this off and I'll show you where the new functionality is, even though it's not quite present on this machine. So to find that you would click on your start button, go up to the gear icon, uh, which says settings when you hover over it, click there. And then where it says find a setting, you can type in font and choose font settings. Okay, so uh, where it says available fonts here on this system, just above that on the, you know, the newer updated Windows 10, there's an area where you can either click to install fonts, which would give you like a, a standard file type browser and you would go and choose the font and then it would install or in that same area because it's a box that just fills this area under the fonts title uh, you can drag and drop the fonts into the box and they will install so um, i'm not sure why the right click functionality was taken out i mean adding that functionality in is cool uh, but taking out the traditional right click install seems uh, counterintuitive and unproductive counterproductive let's say but uh, perhaps that will be fixed in uh, an even later future update. But uh, one of these two ways should get you uh, fonts into your new, uh, into your system. And hopefully this has helped you do so. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.